Gates lived large, and he did it in ways that are still truly bizarre. Let's check out his ginormous bed, fit for a king of the courts, both regal and basketball, at Thornbury Castle, just outside the city of Bristol in Britain. Ryan Jarvis, you're the general manager, and I gotta say, I'm excited. I saw this castle. How old is this castle, by the way? Yeah, this part of the building was built you know, from 1510. Wow, that's like, uh, that's older than Joan Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, speaking of castles, you can't have a castle without an incredible amount of history. No way you've got enough time to go into all the details of the history. Give me, how about some of the famous people that have stayed here? Anybody that I, I would know or our audience would know? Uh, well, you certainly you wouldn't know them, but you'd know of them. I mean, the, yeah. the most famous, of course, Henry VIII. Henry VIII? Oh, yes. Like yeah. the guy with all the wives and oh, yeah, know, heads yeah. off? Great guy, great yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great guy, yeah, okay. Depends if you're one of his wives or not, I suppose. <laughs> Anne Boleyn? Anne Boleyn. Oh, did they keep here as a couple? Yeah, they did, yep. They, they slept in the bedchamber up in the tower there, and they stayed here for 10 days, which was longer than they stayed any other place. So tell me a little bit about a trip with the king. I mean, first of all, would he come here for a vacation? Why would he come on a trip like that? It was that there was a plague in London, and a plague you ran away from. Oh, so he okay. travelled his wife Anne Boleyn, and also a huge entourage of people, his own chefs, his army, his bought his own furniture. Wow, like how many people? Oh, hundreds. Hundreds of people? hundred people at least. Wow. And the people of Thornbury and the city of Bristol just down the road yeah. provided him with lamb, sheep to party, because, boy, those guys knew how to party. Well, what is it with the British? You got like the same thing happens with the Rolling Stones. They come into a town and it's like they trash the place. And their uh, predecessors, King Henry and his entourage, they come in and it sounds like they trash the town. Well, it's a great celebration for the people of the yeah. area, you know, to be privileged for the king to come here. Yeah. So they would make sure he had a, a very good time. If, if a town began to smell a little bit, they just moved on. But <laughs> Thornbury has this wonderful River Severn just down yeah. the road, and we could move all the waste that he produced into the river and Thornbury remained fresher for longer and the record was he stayed here for 10 whole days. Really? That was a record. Wow. King Henry VIII, I think of as this huge guy. I mean, just massive. It's, I mean, you know, Henry VIII was a terrific sportsman. He really? Was very lean. No. Fit. Absolutely. Because he had uh, leg problems, he just became overweight in his later years. Oh. As a young man, he was a very, very fit, young, active man. So he was Great. quite athletic when he oh, was younger. Completely. Oh, really? completely. Now, yeah, fairly yeah. tall. I think he was like six feet. For, for them, yeah. that's fairly tall. It was, right? yes. Okay. Now listen, I'm certainly not comparing myself to King Henry VIII, <laughs> but I am a tall guy. Have you got uh, a room that I could stay in? We've got what we believe is the biggest double bed in a UK hotel. It's 10 foot wide. Long and you'd have a great night's sleep in that. Okay, sounds like what I promise I won't pull like King Henry VIII and trash the place. <laughs>